Well, the question over what to do with refugees fleeing war-torn Syria is heating up. And now a Texas representative is leading the charge to prevent a potential migrant crisis. One America's Matt Shuck has more from Washington. As a result of the growing turmoil in the Middle East, the Syrian refugee crisis that has been plaguing Europe is now making its way to U.S. soil. But Congressman Brian Babin says, not on my watch. Congressman Babin recently introduced the Resettlement Accountability National Security Act, which aims to halt the flow of individuals entering the United States with refugee status until a study is done to determine the cost of the program and any national security implications. Congressman Babin believes that this bill is needed because many of the smaller communities that are taking in the refugees are being forced into complying. By the year 2017, we'll have 100,000 refugees a year coming in, and the U.N. is deciding who these refugees are, coming in on U.S. taxpayers' uh, ticket, and then go, being settled all around the United States in small to medium-sized communities, and, and the local uh, population has little to no say on whether this happens or not. A CRS memo issued to the Senate Judiciary Committee citing data from 2013 says that roughly 74 percent of all refugees receive food stamps. In addition, 56 percent receive federally funded medical assistance. But it's not just the economic harm caused by the influx of refugees that is cause for concern. Congressman Babin believes that there are also risks to our national security. Look at our own country. Look what's happened uh, here in the United States. Look at the Boston Marathon bombing. Uh, look at uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, where five military recruiters were gunned down by ISIS-affiliated jihadis. Look at uh, Oklahoma City. We've had a beheading of a, of a lady in Oklahoma. And in, uh, in my own state of Texas, Garland, Texas, we had a jihadi attack. Uh, where two jihadis, uh, two gunmen came, and uh, it didn't uh, turn Texans, out too good for uh, these gunmen. jihadis, zero in that incident. But they're here. The danger is real. More than 7 million refugees have been displaced by the growing turmoil. The United Nations has referred over 18,000 of those cases to the United States. Matt Shuck, One American News, Washington.